come to the best part. Yeah. You know the dinner for one with Freddy Freddy? No? Dinner for one, die Deutschen kennen das alle, kriegen wir jedes Jahr wieder serviert. Wenn Freddy Frinton dann sagt, Ladies and Gentlemen, I declare the bazaar for open. Und ich darf Ihnen jetzt sagen, meine Damen und Herren, im Namen von MCD, Theani und allen Künstlern, das Buffet ist eröffnet.
Time, das ist jetzt mal an der Zeit, dass wir Ihnen noch ein paar Leute des heutigen Abends vorstellen. It's on time that we introduce you to some other people who are very important, not only for tonight, even for the night of tomorrow. And uh, so, first of all, let me start with the man who knows all the best about the man we sing about tomorrow. He knows everything about Elvis Presley because he's a, he was a very old friend of him. He was with him until the last day. He was with him from the first day on. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention and your applause for George Klein. Uh, I'm trying to think of my German words. Uh, Auf Wiedersehen. That means goodbye. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, this is my second trip to Germany. It's a pleasure to be here, to be near where Elvis spent 18 months with the United States Army. And he had some fond memories of Germany. It's quite obvious because he did a motion picture called GI Blues, which uh, boarded on his uh, tour of duty uh, in this wonderful country. And he told many stories, especially about the Pro Lions. Right, J.D.? <laughs> But anyway, I'd like to introduce you to the people that are going to be performing here who have came, who've come many, many thousands of miles to, to be here for you. And I can assure you, they didn't come merely for the monetary reason. They came because they wanted to be among friends. And that's what we consider you among friends tonight. This is sort of a friendship thing. And uh, I met in Las Vegas with Elvis. Uh, he worked with Elvis on all the engagements that Elvis did in Las Vegas and on the road when Elvis went back on the tour in 69. He was a guy that Elvis loved dearly and, and had fond memories about Mr. John Wilkinson. And, uh, and now the second round of applause. Wilkinson gesagt hat und natürlich über alle Künstler, die heute hier sind, dass sie sich den langen Weg hierher gemacht haben. Und Sie haben gerade eben schon zu Recht Ihren Applaus gegeben für John Wilkinson, den wir gerade eben noch mal recht herzlich willkommen geheißen haben. Ich weiß, dass ein paar Geld ist, J.D. Geld, das bedeutet Geld. Anyway, Ladies and Gentlemen, uh, Ladies and Gentlemen, uh, the next man will be performing tomorrow night and is here with us tonight. One of the nicest guys that I've ever met in show business, and I've met him all the way uh, from the top to the bottom. And this guy ranks right up there. Elvis loved his high tenor Irish voice. I've worked many shows with him. I guarantee you he can, he can put on a show in spur of a moment. He can sound as good without music as he can with music. But that's the sign of a true entertainer. A great guy. Came all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, Mr. Sean Nielsen. Stage. Okay. I say, I was telling me to get this Breeders Digest version. That's the short version. Of Man, they carry on and on and on, you know. Anyway, also I'd like to introduce Mrs. Nielsen, Bobby, Sean's white lady there. Yay, Bobby! Now, I guess I better introduce the big guy here. Boy, honorably, and I'm sure that the man was smiling down upon from heaven and saying, way to go, JD. I'm sure he gave you 10 thumbs up. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. I do want to say that here's a man that knew Elvis when he wasn't a star. Elvis uh, in Memphis used to come to gospel all night sayings. And where they had them was about, it was in an auditorium called, not Elvis, but Ellis Auditorium. I used to call it Elvis Auditorium. A lot of people did, but it was Ellis, E-L-L-I-S. And Elvis lived about three blocks in there. And he would kind of sneak up to the back of the stage, and he was only about 12, 13 years old. And this man was with uh, the Blackwood Brothers at the time, and he would get Elvis backstage. And they became friends when Elvis was 13, 14 years old. And he knew Elvis from that age. He wasn't a Johnny come lately. He knew Elvis many, many years, and uh, Elvis loved his bass voice, and many times would come to Graceland uh, and, and, and just party and sing, and. And, and spend good times and friendship and all, and there's one, many wonderful memories with this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest, lowest bass singer in the world, J.D. Sumner. Ja, J.D. Sumner ist dafür bekannt. Und zwar, er ist auch dafür bekannt, dass er den, äh, den 
gar nicht äh, morgen alle kommen, nämlich Mr. Elvis Presley, auch wenn er schon hinten rum reingelassen hat. So für ganz umsonst, Backstage hieß das so schön, also hinter die Bühne und hat ihn dann zuschauen lassen, schon als 14-jährigen Jungen, während er da mit seiner Truppe auf der Bühne stand. Damals noch nicht Arne, das ist der etwas ältere Elvis, dann natürlich Jamie Summer und das Sam Smith auf seine Bühne holen wird. Das Quartett. And uh, for many years was with the Blackwood Brothers in Memphis and of course worked with Elvis from day one in, in Las Vegas on stage. Uh, sitting next to JD is a dear friend of mine and he was there. We had so many wonderful times in Las Vegas. When Elvis would be playing in Las Vegas, you, you, it was sort of a second home. And we would do a lot of joking around. And this guy was part of that and he, he went along with it and he was always there and Elvis loved him to death. Ladies and gentlemen, of the Stamps Quartet, Mr. Ed Haney. I don't know where Steve was. That's what Ron Wilson used to say when he forgot to introduce me. He said, George, it's so dark in here. I didn't see you. <laughs> they don't understand the rising line. Anyway, he's a great guy, too. Part of the Stamps Quartet, Mr. Steve Warren. Stamps Quartet, Steve Warren, der mir gar nicht schon gehört. Er war einer derjenigen, die also sozusagen in Grace mit einem ausgegangen sind und dort auch immer so richtig schöne Gesangssession abgeliefert haben. Und ich glaube, da denken heute noch einige dran. Und wir wünschen uns alle, wir wären dabei gewesen. Mist, das war für mich. Jewish. <lacht> But Klein is a good German name. I'm in Germany. <lacht> um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I love Boy Reed musicians. They're fun to be with. Uh, sitting next to Ed is another great uh, member of one of the greatest quartets in the world. Uh, world renowned, world known. And, well respected, ladies and gentlemen, to C.J. Aubrey. The stage, the stage, forget it. That means understand the German. He said, go ahead. And sitting next to him is a guy, uh, I can't forget his name, because he used to be a disc jockey in Memphis. Remember, J.D., when y'all used to sing on WMPS when he was with Blackwood, they had a disc jockey, and he likes, I don't know if they know basketball in German, but he likes basketball. We've been talking basketball, because See, I'm from Memphis State, Memphis, Tennessee. Anyway, he's a great guy, and he's also a member of a very, very famous quartet, the Stamps, Mr. Ed. <laughs> uh, sitting next to Ed, and uh, guys, it, it, it's, you're really lucky that she, she made it. She has one of her prettiest high <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm really fortunate because the first group to ever sing behind Elvis when he recorded Heartbreak Motel, I Was the One, and Too Much, and all those early RCA records, that group is here tonight, and they are very historic, and they are legends in their own right in America, and I guess the world, too, uh, because they've been on so many shows. They tell so many wonderful stories, especially Quickie was uh, once we were on tour and Elvis had tried out for the Arthur Godfrey talent show in America. There's a talent show at that time called Arthur Godfrey. They turned Elvis down. These guys came and won the show and they said, what have you guys been doing? And they said, we've been working with a guy in the South named Elvis Presley. And they said, oh, you mean a guy with sideburns jumps around when he sings? They said, yeah. They said, oh, we turned him down. They said, well, the world ain't turning him down. <laughs> but he's making it. But anyway, that group is here tonight. And Elvis had uh, in German? Huh? Wooden heart. Wooden heart, yeah. Original member of the Jordanaires and a guy that we worked, that I worked Elvis with from 1956 on and uh, really a super, super nice guy and, and a great musician too in his own right and a legendary singer, Mr. Neil Matthews of the Jordanaires. <laughs> of the Jordanaires, the leader of the legendary Mr. Gordon Stoker. He's a member of our group as 
she's not here. And also, did I leave anyone out, Sean, or JD, or Gordon? I don't think I left anybody out, though, Neil. It's on the show, it's here tonight. George Black. What, Kathy? George Black. He, he, George Black? Who? He? Now, he introduced me, I think. I think he introduced me. He did. Kathy, you're waving, is that what you're waving about? What'd she say? I can't hear her. Oh, no. I didn't leave Kathy out. Who can leave her out? Excuse me. But who can leave Kathy out? Nobody ever could, so he didn't, I know. But uh, we're, we're all proud to be here, and we're gonna hang out for a little while, and the band is gonna play some music tonight, right? And I'm gonna turn it back over to you, okay? Thank you, sir. Sie haben recht, dass Sie jetzt noch geblieben sind und Sie sollten auch weiterhin bleiben. Denn Sie werden jetzt etwas miterleben, was die anderen leider verpasst haben. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see a little show now, which all the others who went too early, are very sorry, but they missed it. Just a bit. So, we need you. Who's the star? You or me? You. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, can I have the attention of J.D. Sumner and the Stamps? I would like to see them all here on stage. We take what's left. The Stamps. Where are the Stamps? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Here are two of them. And... Um, to make the whole thing complete, and this is all complete to make, I need the Jordanaires. I need Neil Matthews, Ray Walker, Gordon Stoker. Where's the, where's the, oh, here they come. Hey. Uh, it's a good question. The Jordanaires are two of Ray Ball. Look at that. Who does that? A friend. Look at this t-shirt. Schau dir mal dieses t-shirt an. Ich finde jeden einzelnen Namen gemacht. This time you really can put them on. Die kann man sogar anziehen. Okay, uh, where is Mike Albert? Here, Michael. Michael Albert, the little show. Uh, these microphones are on. I don't know how in the hell you're going to do it. But I would like to ask you to sing at minimum one song for us together, which had never happened before. Niemals ist das vorher passiert, dass sie zusammen aufgetreten sind. Das ist die absolute Premiere. three Grammys uh, for his spiritual albums, and uh, we'd like to do a spiritual for you tonight. Ready? Yeah. <coughs> oh, will the night Johnny saw my number, well, in the middle of the air, oh, I talked to saw my number, I said, in the middle of the air. Oh, I've jumped so my number He was way up in the middle of the air I've jumped so my number And he was way in the middle of the air There were three gates in the east Three gates in the west Three gates in the north Three gates in the south Charles in his rain. Well, that's French fire. 
like a burning sun. One time I got scared and he wanted to run. Well, he wanted to run, but his feet would grow. Cause he knew that I spoke to him like a two-edged sword. And he heard a voice, he said, John, you take a look. Remember what you see in your writing in a book you saw. Well,
smart aleck. Just like told of a man who was in the hospital dying. His wife had been by his bedside for three days and three nights. Somewhere on the third day between midnight and dawn, she lay down beside him and dozed off. While she was sleeping, the man felt himself begin to pass away. And uh, he didn't want her to see him pass away, so he took a notepad and a pencil from the side of the bed and he wrote, so softly, I will leave softly long before for my heart to break. <laughs> if you should wait to see me go and see me go.
next song for you. 32 years ago tomorrow. 32 years ago tomorrow. Can you believe that? We recorded Are You Lonesome Tonight with Elvis. That's unbelievable. 32 years ago tomorrow afternoon.
these legends. I'm thrilled to death, and we're going to give you the show of a lifetime tomorrow night. We thought we would sing one of the songs for you as a close for our part that, that drew Elvis. This is his favorite spiritual. It drew Elvis to the sound of the Jordanaires. He liked the soft spiritual sound that we got, and he would like to sing every individual part. And when we would get to a movie or something that we were making, he'd sing for half a day. And when he'd start singing the bass, I'd drop out. If he started singing the lead, Neil would drop out of the tenor. He liked all the parts. Here's one of Elvis's favorite spirituals. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw a world premiere. That's right. That's right. Thanks to the Jordanaires, the Stan Shonyas. I need to, you, you know Bodo, right? But J.D. JD Sumner and I would like to thank Bodo for some of our background. We started this kind of stuff, and one of my first riff was, Bodo, no, Bodo, no, Bodo, no, Bodo. <laughs> and by the hell, he didn't pay one cent for it. Okay, ich glaube, äh, dass Sie recht gehabt haben, werden Sie einsehen, dass man ein bisschen länger geblieben zu sein. Richtig? Gut, dann sollten wir es noch ein bisschen gemütlich machen.